Okay. Right now, it's mid-January. I figure I've got time for one more fairly involved build before things kick off over at Scale Model Addict with the annual Big Spring Contest. So for this next build, I decided I'm going to go back, not necessarily revisit, but recreate an old build. To that end, I'm going to be working with the new 1000 scale Reliant from Polar Lights. But what I'm doing, those of you familiar with some of my previous builds, I've done a couple of the USS Odysseus. Well, she actually got her start back in the late 1980s when Star Trek The Next Generation came on the air. And the group I was role-playing with at the time, we decided we wanted to role-play in that era. But there weren't any rules for it yet. The only thing we had going for us was the old FASA Starship role-playing game, or Star Trek role-playing game. So, we needed a ship we could use. We decided we'd send a ship from the movie era forward in time. And to that end, we turned this old... <laughs> back then it wasn't quite as beaten publication, the FASA Federation Starship Recognition Manual. And we went back to what was then known as a Reliant class cruiser. And decided, you know what, that'd be a good start. So looking over the list of list of hull numbers in the registry, we found one we wanted to use. Really odd number for the era, but there she was. NCC 26278, the USS Odysseus. So to that end, I'm going to be building the Reliant as what was known as a Reliant class cruiser back then. No need to get on me. I know it's a Miranda, but back then we didn't know that. The kit itself is designed as a snap kit, and the parts layout, with a few noted exceptions, is very similar to the larger AMT kit with a couple of noted exceptions namely the detail pieces that would be more akin to the nacelles found on the Constitution refit kit. In addition to the custom Odysseus markings that I'll be using now these are very similar to the ones I did for the uh, Pegasus class version, but modified of course. In addition to those, I will also be using the round two Aztec decals. Which should prove much more of a challenge than the actual construction. Actual construction, I'm figuring, won't take more than 35 or 40 minutes, pending seams, which I'll see when we get to it. I may or may not use the base. Obviously, I'm not going to be using the Reliant markings, but we'll see how things go. Like I said, this is kind of a revisiting the past, if you will, because without this version of the Odysseus, none of the others I've done would exist. So, without further ado, I'm going to shut this down and probably get started.
Okay, like I figured, the base construction of the Reliant kit is very quick. I did have an issue with a couple of the seams when I snapped them together. So what I did is I just ran a bead of Tamiya Extra Thin along them to kind of knock them down. Well, to seal them up, and I'll knock them down a little with some sand and grit. I recommend gluing this kit primarily because that way the seams will close. Looks like I missed a spot. Right back here on the nacelle strut. I may have to switch over to the regular Tamiya to get that one to seal. We'll see. The roll bar, I would definitely cement because you got a nice long sweeping line and it wants to pop open if you don't. They cast the torpedo detail in clear. Me, I'm going to paint it anyway. The one real hiccup I had was with the lower impulse dome here. And basically the way I, I went and got around that was I just cut the locator tabs off and set it in place. I have not put down the sensor dome or the bridge because there are decals that would actually go under those detail pieces so I'll wait until after I've got the, the decals on to get the detailing in. I was pleasantly surprised with the seam along the hull. I mean that was press fit and just a bead of glue and all in all it's looking really good So at this point, this thing is about as far as it's going to get construction-wise until I get paint and decals done. Because it's just going to be a lot easier to paint this way than it would be to paint it with the uh, with the uh, assemblies in place. Especially since you've also got to put decals on the underside of the roll bar. But that's where we're sitting with the Odysseus at the moment. Okay. Moving right along. I have not done any of the decaling yet. Figured I'd get at least some of the detail painting before I got that far. Starting, I masked off the detail areas, sensor pilots, whatever they are. Hit them with a dark gray paint, then a black wash and dry brush in light gray. Just a little light blue. The um, impulse crystal I'll go back in and hit with another coat of probably a metallic blue. Black wash to pick up some detail. On the bottom I masked off this area. If there aren't any decals that go over this. I'll go back in and I'll pick out the uh, lower crystal. Mask this off, hit it with gray primer and then a black wash that I wipe the excess off on. The little vents here on the corners, I just hit with a black wash. Same goes for the little detail pieces. With the photon tubes, hit them with a coat of light gray primer, and then just black wash over that. In the case of the rear one, 
I did my best to keep this area clean. Pick these out in a light blue and then a black wash for detail. Painted the no section of the nacelles in the light blue. Then went in and picked out these grills here as well as these grills with a black wash on both nacelles. At this point, I may go in and, and seal up the uh, areas I've done the painting on, but it's time for decal work. 